Welcome. I'm hoping this will be the easiest lesson you've ever had, and it will go very, very quickly. Because what it's going to ask you is to find the complex conjugate of a complex number. And that's all that is, is if our complex number is in the form of a plus bi, the conjugate is changing that sign that's in between the a and the bi. That's all it is, is you just change whatever that sign is to a to its opposite sign. So in other words, if it's negative, like in the current problem, you're going to type in this exact same expression, except with a plus 10i. That's all a conjugate is. It's a two-term expression where the, the sign in between them is changed from either positive to from addition to subtraction or subtraction to addition. And we remember, always put the i last. So don't change the sign in front, the sign in between. So let me quickly get rid of the rest of this. Well, that's really weird. That was supposed to, there we go, get rid of that. So again, here we go. We're going to do this real fast. I'm going to change the sign in between the 4 and the i. So I don't change the negative 4, but I change it to a plus i. Again, I don't change the negative 10, but I do change it to a plus 2i. Will it accept that i? Let's see if it accepts that i. Hey, it did accept the i off the keyboard. So again, 5 plus i. 5 minus 6i. Negative 5 minus 3i. 4 minus 4i. Remember, these are complex conjugates. Just don't forget that. That's what you're supposed to realize is complex conjugates are the same two terms, just you're changing the sign in between. Now, if there's not a middle term, or if there's not two terms, which term is it? Is it the i term, or is it the real part? If it's the i term, you have to change the sign. So this would be a 7i, because I changed the sign in front of it. But if it's just the real part, like this one, you don't change the sign, it's just four. You leave the real part alone. So again, you leave the real part as it is, you change the sign on the Oops, I didn't do the plus on the complex or imaginary part. Then leave the real part alone and change the sign on the 8i. Real part alone and change the sign on the 7i. That's not 7i, that's ti. 7i, there we go. Ooh, I almost hit submit on that one. Again, leave the real part, the negative 4 alone, change that plus 4i to a minus 4i. Again, it's the real part, so we don't change it. We leave it as a negative 4. Leave the minus 1 alone and change it to a plus 10i. Since it's the real part, we just leave it alone. It's just 9. Leave the negative 7 alone and then change it to a plus 10i. Find the sum of negative 9 and its complex conjugate. Well, guess what? If you summed negative 9, now be careful. The complex conjugate is going to have a negative 9 real part. It's going to be negative 18. Don't, think, don't change the sign on the real part. Find the sum of negative 9 and its complex conjugate. Again, the complex conjugate of negative 9 is still just negative 9. We don't change the sign on the real part. If there's no i there, we don't change it. And so if I added it to itself, it'd be bigger. Now this one, if I found the sum of negative 7i and its complex conjugate, I do change the sign. So what's negative 7i plus a positive 7i? Well, that's zero. Okay, find the sum of this and its complex conjugate. Well, 3 plus 3 is 6, and the negative 2i plus a positive 2i would cancel, and we're just left with the 6. Again, find the sum of these two. The negative 3 plus another negative 3 would be negative 6, because that front part doesn't change, but the second part changes, and they cancel each other out. Again, find the sum of these two. Uh, so we'd have a 14, because 7 plus 7 is 14, and then positive 9i and a negative 9i cancel. So we get a 6. The complex part cancels. We get a 4. The complex part cancels. We get a negative 14, and the complex part cancels. 
and we get a four and the complex part cancels. If you have any questions, please do bring them to class and I will help you there.